Hello, my friend, and welcome to TFU News and Views. I'm your host, Anthony Brucalli, owner, operator, webmaster of TFU.info, host of Transformers University, and host of this very podcast you're listening to right now. And today on TFU News and Views, I'm not really going to talk about the news. I do want to talk about something that's on my mind that I wanted to do early on in this podcast because I think it's important to have this perspective and attitude towards your hobby and towards this hobby and really towards anything you enjoy um quite simply it is a good time to be a transformers fan and even bigger than that it is a good time to be a fan of just comics and science fiction and all the things that kind of go along with it um so with that in mind i was going to look ahead to toy fair and it's it's one of those things that's worth mentioning that it is a good time to be a Transformers fan. I cannot say it enough, uh, and I feel like I say it every year that every year gets better and better. But let's just with a brief look ahead to Toy Toy Fair, and I'm not going to go too deep into what I expect to see. Perhaps that is another show with just about a week left until the show until Toy Fair, until the Hasbro Toy Event, which I will be at and I will be tweeting from. So please be sure to follow me at TFU underscore info on the Twitter, Facebook.com slash TFU INFO, and on Instagram at TFU dot info. So, and I probably will be making a few podcast appearances after that. And, uh, I will be posting some things to YouTube as well. So please scour the web. I'll be out there and I will bring bring you as much as I can. So let's just think about the Transformers brand as it stands right now, today, February 9th, 2018. We have Generations, the toy line, going on its eighth year. That is two years longer than the original run of Transformers in the United States. And you can combine that with Universe 2.0, the precursor to Generations, which kind of served the same pur- purpose, and that ran for two years. And then Classics ran for two years before that. So you really have an unprecedented time where Hasbro has paid so much attention to us as collectors, as fans, for all, for a dozen years, for 12 years, we've been getting some sort of line that is represented generation one as it was in 84 and given mostly modern updates to be part of whatever toy technology and whatever gimmicks and fun they have planned today so that is just amazing on its own and whether or not generations ends after 2018 maybe we'll find out at toy fair Uh, but until we do that is just unbelievable so in that 12 years that's twice as long as the United States run of G1 that ran from 84 to 90. Additionally, on top of that, right, we still have the aligned continuity in the toy form. So there will still be some Robots in Disguise toys coming, as far as we can tell from recent leaks. There's at least one Crash Combiner that I know a few people are interested in, and I can't imagine there aren't some other case options in that. And from there, we have the potential of new RescueBots toys and RescueBots Academy, which, though it's debuting in 2019, or at least that's when it's expected, there's nothing saying that toys can't come out in 2018 for it, or at least a continuation of the current RescueBots series in 2018. So now that totals up three toy lines. In the, you know, the dollar store type places, your family dollar, your dollar generals, we have Transformers Authentics. So that's now four toy lines floating out there of varying qualities and varying um, target audiences. But that's four toy lines concurrently. Then looking ahead to later in 20, 2018, we're going to have at least one movie line, if not two. So there is the movie anniversary line. Uh, the name is escaping me at the moment. I'm sure someone will tweet it at me. And we also could potentially have a line for the Bumblebee movie. So that is now two more potential toy lines. That brings us up to six. And then top that off 
with Cyberverse coming in 2018 and potentially some sort of toy support for that. That would be seven. So really, we could potentially have seven Transformers toy lines all on the shelves at once. I don't know offhand if that's the most, but it is certainly towards the top if it is not. Now, from there, we still have IDW Comics. We still have two fantastic mobile video games in Forge to Fight and Transformers Earth Wars. Uh, th there's just so much out there. Oh, and then there's the Machinima uh, Power of the Prime series coming in May. And yes, <laughs> arguably, I haven't even watched Titan Wars yet, uh, Titan's Return yet, but I've watched Combiner Wars. And it seems like, the, yeah, these may go down as the worst pieces of Transformers animation in history after... Energon, and that's arguable. I can't argue it yet because I have never watched all of Energon. I bailed out after seven episodes when it was airing, and I've never gone back to it. That said, it's still out there. There are people who enjoy it. We also have a movie coming with Bumblebee and Transformers Universe Bumblebee, so that is another piece of media coming. Like I said, we live in a time where it is good to be a Transformers fan. And then top it off with, you know... As far as being a, a, a fan of comics and a fan of sci-fi, just you get a Star Wars movie every year. You get three Marvel movies every year. There's, what, four or five different TV series based on Marvel characters, whether it be X-Men Universe or the standard Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you're a DC person, I feel bad for you, but the TV series are pretty good, I assume. I've heard. I watch Gotham. Uh, I don't really watch... Uh, anything else DC related, but I really have no personal connection uh, to DC. And then there's always The Walking Dead. There's the Game of Thrones. Uh, for fans of other comics, I love Valiant Comics. Love Valiant Comics. And uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics on IDW are very good. They're excellent. And they're getting a new series. So it is a great time to be just a fan. So if you're a fan of whatever, just remember, it doesn't get better than where we are right now. It doesn't get better than, it doesn't get better than today for anything. And that's a, it's a good lesson for your whole life to live by. Uh, every day gets better and whatever you're into, it will just get better each and every subsequent day. So with that in mind, I am excited for Toy Fair and I am excited to do this show along with the other show and keep you guys excited about the world of Transformers and what is on the horizon. And I think that's a good spot to, uh, to wrap it up. Uh, I'm not going to do my normal plugs. I think uh, we're just going to let this lay here. But uh, you know the drill. So, until next time, see ya.